Oh wow, this is awesome. So tell me first of all about Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, or in Swahili called Jikola Shetani. Ah, Jikola Shetani. Jikola Shetani. Okay. Hell's Kitchen. Okay. It's called Hell's Kitchen because of the temperature during the day. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Because even as we are going to go down there, uh -huh. but during the day, the temperature normally rises up to 45 to 50. Wow. Which we during the day when that is fun. On this episode of Across All Borders Going East, it's all about Marafa's Hell's Kitchen, a marvel of light and color in Kenya. On the 3rd of March 2021, I departed my hotel in Watam, headed to Marafa to visit the depression popularly known as Marafa's Hell's Kitchen. It is a series of sun-baked gorges and tall light chimney structures, sometimes rising up to 30 meters, that have been formed by water and wind erosion over the years. It is located roughly about 30 kilometers from Malindi on the north coast and it attracts hikers and nature lovers like myself who wish to walk the width and breadth as we marvel at these structures. The depression derives its name from the high temperatures recorded during the day, which range between 35 to 50 degrees Celsius. Over the years, changing weather conditions have caused intensified crumbling of the sandstone, forcing the keepers to move viewpoints and access road severally. Once inside the canyon, you will notice the many shades of color, all with different meanings that can be attributed to a legend in the past. While scientists say Hell's Kitchen is a result of geological formation, the local community attributes it to divine anger. Now our journey would not be complete if I did not tell you the legend, or better still, you will hear my guide tell you about the legend of Marafa's Hell's Kitchen. One of the best times to visit is at sunset, when the tones of the sandstone gullies are highlighted and mirrored by those of the setting sun. So come along with me as we check this out. So that's my matatu to Marafa. Oh my god, a weird guy singing in the background. We're in the bus back, it's called New Stage. <laughs> I've been like, oh God, yeah, please, yeah. please, I don't want to die. Yeah. Because I know if it's exposed and the sun is as hot, mm -hmm. it will not be nice. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the most beautiful time here to come. It's to sunset, visit. no? Yeah, sunset, I know. Yeah. I know, but I want to do media creek at sunset, so yeah, I have yeah, to choose. Course, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, also, every everything you see down there, uh -huh. this is the one thing you should know. It's all sand. Wow. This is not rocks. Meaning that during the rain season, the depression here keeps expanding, also goes deeper. Mm -hmm. being eroded every time during the rain season. Okay, so, but when was it first recognized? When when did people first say, oh my God, there's something special here? A oh, very, very long time ago. Yeah? It's about 150 years back. Oh, really? There is a legend. Okay. okay. Welcome. Thank you. Marafa Hell's Kitchen. <sighs> and we believe there is a legend story about this place here. We believe many years back, the place was not the way it is. This place here was flat and there was a very big family living here. Giriyama people. And they had a lot of cattle, including cows, camels, goats. Were well, very rich. By then, the cows were producing a lot of milk. The only problem they had was water. They had to go some few kilometers to get water. Now it's just some time that they decided to use milk instead of water. By washing their body with milk, washing their clothes with milk. So, till now, we still believe that. We believe it's cast from God. Because God was so furious with their extravagant behavior and God made it rain so heavily that the entire family with their cattle were all sucked down here. Mm, okay. Yeah. So symbolically, the remaining colors here, we have white color, which we prefer as milk. The red color is for the blood, 
and yellow for the houses. Ah, oh. yeah. Okay. Wow. Give a lot of traffic to come okay. because now nowadays the there is a project. It's a it's under community this mm -hmm. project now. Mm -hmm. Also we have to market. We have to market the the health kitchen itself into internationally. Okay. So okay. Go through YouTube, you can find it. Yeah. Videos of health kitchen. Yeah. But um, so normally who who are your guests? Let's say in the last eight years, is it more Kenyans? Is it more foreigners? More foreigners. More foreigners. Uh, so why do you think the locals don't come? Uh, here in Kenya, they don't come because maybe they they fear to travel into interior areas like here. Oh, really? Yeah. No, before even the road was very bad. Uh -huh. Right now we have a tarmac road, so it's a little bit uh, favor for us. Okay. For the visitors to visit. To place. come here, yeah. 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 So see, the thing is, I came from... Watamu, yeah, huh? <laughs> meaning I took, I took uh, Matatu, to, uh, Matatu Malindi, to Malindi, and then, then from Malindi, Malindi one to here, to here. And, um, and then when I got here, I was following Google Maps, uh -huh. I saw to drop off uh, on the main expressway, mm -hmm. and then walk down this side, okay, the map worked fine, but for example, the bus driver, uh -huh. sorry, okay. he took me to the middle of town. Yeah, if you go to the town also, you uh -huh. can come here, but yeah? you can come back here, ah. instead of... Getting a, uh, instead of there down there, uh -huh. you can go to the village to the center, uh -huh. the stage, uh -huh. and then after there also you can. Wow! Oh my God! Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's like small Grand Canyon in America. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, there is actually another one. I will show you the pictures later. Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon. This is closer to Bryce Canyon. Ah. Because Bryce Canyon have like this. Uh, in Africa. No, 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 no. In ah. the U.S. Bryce ah. Canyon. This is more closer to that than to the Grand Canyon but this is like wow it's actually quite beautiful uh -huh. oh my god yeah I but with this also you you should remember it's all sand so yeah. during the rain season it's being eroded so okay. and then it's it changed change it's changed the form so wow. maybe if you come back after two years three years <laughs> you'll find something different you'll find a different form a different yeah. face a different yeah. person looking at me because people don't uh kenyans don't come here is because of how remote it is yeah true. so are you also, from marafa i'm from marafa okay yeah. it is cheap for a kenyan no yeah it is cheap but people maybe from watamu uh -huh. from mombasa uh -huh. People from there, they uh -huh. don't come. But people maybe from Nairobi... They come. They come. Okay. Yeah. So, so do you think that if the community were to kind of like... Wow. If the community was to kind of like... Maybe do an incentive where they said, Look, Saturdays, people from Watamu mm -hmm. can come here. Mm -hmm. We will arrange a bus. The bus is direct. Mm -hmm. You just pay instead of maybe 200, you pay 150. Don't you good, think people yeah. will come? We'll come. To introduce a supported or assisted tourism in Africa no. to people who are less privileged to having their own car. True. And that way you will see people, they will take advantage of so it. It will be easy for them to uh, come. They will come. They will yeah, now say, okay, come. it's only my time, I can take my family, yeah, uh, the bus is reduced, blah, 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 all of that. Yeah, yeah, but we need that idea, no? Yeah. <laughs> we need that idea and we, we need someone who can we, implement we it. Maybe some years to come, mm -hmm. people will come. Most of people in Kenya also will come and visit. Yeah, this place. it is important. Right now we, 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 are, we are receiving some tourists from Kenya. And uh -huh. yeah, they wow. really appreciate about this place. There, but there are other sections like this, no? Yeah. Wow. So these plants growing in here, would you say they are more of like a desert, desert yeah. vegetation? Yeah, yeah, true. Oh my God, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. I can't even tell you. I'm so happy with or without sun. <laughs> I'm so happy I came. The yeah, guy was true. going through the express way. I was like, uh -huh. hey, where am I going? Up? <laughs> where have I chosen to go today? And also, then that I is like, a, a challenge also. Yeah, of course. It's a challenge, yeah. It is because, you, yeah. first of all, if you don't really know <laughs> where you are going, then of course you can start to wonder, uh, am I sure? <laughs> you know, this is what I wanted to do. Wow. This is absolutely... You know, it's only here, in Kenya, it's only here. That like, you have this, huh? Yeah, have wow, this. it should actually be even get more attention. Of so, course, they have to do it responsibly because then you don't want like a lot of people coming at the same time mm -hmm. because it will not hold, uh, yeah, true. you know. Mm -hmm.
but um, I think before it gets to that point, it would take a while. Wow. What I like is the color. the color. Like, yeah, the mixture, how the color is. And look at the dried wood. As you can see that gray ashy thing, there is a tree. And I would say it did not burn as in someone set fire to it. But the sun, that is to tell you how hot it gets in here. The sun has dealt with that piece of wood, I show you. It looks almost ashy, so you can see that it kind of like uh, burned from the heat of the sun. But today we're very lucky, it's if overcast. You look, mm -hmm. If you look down there, you can see there's a shape of a big foot there. Where? There, down there. Uh-huh. There is a big shape of a foot. And what, whose foot in, is it? In your own imagination, maybe, if you look at it very well. Ah, there with the toes. With the toes. With the toes. toes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. There. <laughs> and you think it's the guy that used to live here? <laughs> the people that got swallowed up in the. Wow. Nice. Oh, you see, like here we are, we are going to pass through. Maybe mm -hmm. after two years, three years, we it will not be there here. anymore. Wow. So here, after some times. We have to change the roots. Ah. And we've just been explained that every couple of years they have to change the roots that they follow to go around this area because it keeps changing with the weathering. So when you come next time, this might not be what you will see. So come very soon. Uh, <laughs> come and see it. Okay. True. Exactly. Wow. So have you been working here for eight years? No. How long? Right now, two years now. Ah, yeah. you like it? Yeah, I like it because here is the only place I'm getting something also here. Okay. Yeah. What were you doing before? Okay, I'll take In school. It. What are you studying? Right now I'm studying plumbing. I mean... Plumbing? Yeah. Oh my God, look at this. And this was not like fire, no? No. <laughs> they look like they burned. Okay, you're studying plumbing? Yeah. Okay. Now wow. go down. Okay, so this is our route go down, fellas. We're going down. This place is absolutely... I was a little bit worried mm -hmm. if I needed to wear covered shoes, but I see you're wearing flip-flops, so it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. So are there any snakes here? No, no. we don't have snakes okay. here because of the temperature. The temperature, okay. Wow. C'est magnifique. You come around this place here, you can see some smell. It's like there is someone sitting down here. For real? Yeah, okay, smell of this. potatoes, <laughs> smell of pilau, you know pilau? Of course. Yeah, smell of think, cassava with coconut. I think whoever came down was hungry, no? <laughs> you don't <Yeah>. think so? <laughs> also because of that we call the place as kitchen. Ah, yeah. because when people come down, they smell food at night? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in but hell, it's, it's being cooked as well. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Okay, wow. Okay, let me get this. Oh my God, okay. So, but is it uh, managed by the Kenyan authorities or who manages it? It's the local community from ah. the local village here. Marathi. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's not attached to the national parks or no, any of those no. things. Yeah. Hold this. Okay. Wow. Look at this here. Oh my god, the formation is beautiful. Uh -huh. Ah, look at this rock. It's special. But this is kind of like crystallized like a rock, no? Yeah, but it's like a rock that. right now because of the sun. It's like rock. Can I touch it? Yeah. But during the rain season, it's being eroded. Oh. You can't imagine. Wow. We, we, we cannot come down here during the rain season. Wow. Yeah. The place here, we normally close. Close it. Yeah. Okay. Because if, if, even here, even here we are passing through here, yeah. it's full of water. It's like the wow. river now. Oh my God. Yeah. So about what time in the year does that start happening? Uh, in the month of April. April. May. Okay. Wow. They used to come here and sacrifice God. 
Really? Yeah, they call, call community, Giriama people. Okay, they come here to make yeah. sacrifices. Yeah. For the rain to come. Ah, yeah. wow. Okay, definitely there's another picture spot when mm -hmm. I come back. Let's, let's uh, progress. Oh my God, so many beautiful. Every single angle here is different. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. And uh, it's like you can't get enough, whew, enough, oh, stop, enough of it. So that's the cow's milk, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Take anything out from here. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. <laughs> wow. In your in your left, look up up there. Oh, there is a, sh a shape yeah. of two heads are kissing. <laughs> is that the Valentine's? <laughs> Others say it's like lion. Okay. Yeah. It could actually be two two people, a couple standing next to each other, mm -hmm. not necessarily kissing, but shoulder to shoulder. Uh -huh. If you're looking at them frontal, okay. um, if it is if they're by a silhouette, the side, then it is two couples kissing. Wow, guys, it's up to you what you see here, but nature allows you become an artist and you paint your own pictures with your imagination. Oh my god, look at that one with the hole. Yeah. Oh, that will go down. When the rain comes, yeah. that will go down. Wow. Even like in the bus, you know, because I was sitting in front and uh, I had it on the chair, so of course the sun was hitting it all the time. Wow. I smell cow dog though. Cows coming here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my bag is heavy. <laughs> Yeah, it's like somebody's face. <laughs> ah, I want, wait, one picture next to the tree mm -hmm. and you get that. Oh my God. It is then sort of scary <laughs> because you know that everything around you could collapse, literally. Yeah, right now, no. But okay. You cannot come down here. Yeah. <laughs> you would be a mod bath in a second. True. Does it have an echo factor? What? Can you get an echo in here? Some of the me shots. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, this is lovely. Okay, oh, let me get this guy from this side. Wait. Wow. You can go there. Really, where? That, those two things? Yeah. That look like columns. <laughs> oh my God, don't I look like I'm in a movie from Indiana Jones? Like for real guys, I could be in some Indiana Jones movie right now. So when do you open for the season? Which month? Uh, season is starting from August. From August? Yeah. 
Okay, so in August, you guys go in and look for the new path. Okay. Oh, wow. There's more. The other side. Ah, this is the one. Okay. Where it's more like a little bit of dunes and not like the pillars. Because I was already yesterday in Malindi. So also during the sunset. Mm -hmm. Also the colors here. Yeah, different. they're different. I saw, I saw it. I really wanted to come at sunset, but like I said, I'm from Watamu. That's oh, like, uh, yeah, it's not going to be possible because it means I'm going back in the night. Um, yeah, so choices have to be made. climbed out of the crater unbelievable um you don't even notice how much you ascend do you know how deep it is oh, 80 yeah, so this is the perspective from on top guys we're walking a bit of the rim showing you how beautiful and you never come home with white socks yeah, true. <sighs> From here you can see the lion. Yes. The lion. Yes, yes. Wow. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81.